Gallup poll, very interesting. 53% of us Americans say we would not vote for a socialist for president. 53%. Ah, not having socialism. However, 76% of Democrats say, yeah, they would vote for a socialist. How about that? Matt Sapola is with us. He's the owner of the PHP agency, which works with people fleeing socialist countries like Venezuela. Matt, uh, good to see you again. Welcome back, indeed. What do these people from Venezuela, what do they say about the Democrats going for socialism? Well, you know, a lot of them are just talking about their own experiences of living in socialism, talking about, you know, things such as food and water and shelter are certain things that's just not available readily as it is here in the United States. And then when they come across our company and we're able to show them the rules of the money game, we're able to teach them entrepreneurship, we're able to teach them capitalism, we're able to teach them free enterprise, their eyes are wide open and say, oh, my gosh, thank God for this opportunity. Even people from, we, have, we got people from Moldova coming over here and say, you know what, in our country, it's so hard to have and own a business, you got to pay people off. But here in America, man, we're so glad to hear to, to be here, a uh, land of fr uh, freedom I, and opportunity. I, Matt, I really like to hear that because I'm an immigrant. I yes. believe passionately in the American dream, and I think I, I meet so many Americans who think that all immigrants are down on America somehow or other, that we're yeah. condemning America, you know, sure. racist bigots and all that nonsense. That's what I meet constantly, but it's just not true. Immigrants really love the American dream and get right into it. Yes, I, I saw it firsthand. I served in the Marine Corps, and a part of my time was serving in Korea. And right there, south of the uh, 38th parallel, I saw the exact difference, and experienced the exact difference between communism and north of the parallel, North Korea, uh, which was isolated, cold, and dark at night, versus south of the parallel, which is filled with light and life at night. I experienced it firsthand myself there as a United States Marine. Okay, now, how's your business going? And does it actually specialize in helping immigrants like from Venezuela and Moldova and all the rest of it? Is that the specialty of your business? It's not necessarily a specialty. Uh, just, just by uh, a simple uh, recruitment process and candidates and, and, and inquiries, a lot of folks are coming in from different immigrant countries. 53% uh, of our company is Latino, 52% is women. The highest income earners of our company are women, Latino, Mexicana. My wife is half black, half white, Cuban, American Indian. Uh, then the other million dollar earner in our company is uh, uh, me uh, Mexican uh, from Michoacan and Guadalajara. Uh, uh, Del Toro's and Gaetan's uh, of our company is just amazing how the, the immigrant story yeah. is, I, is progressive here. I just company. love it. In my family, three races, two religions, seven ethnicities. We're all American, just like you. Matt, okay. thanks for joining us, fella. That was good. Come back soon, okay? You got it. Appreciate it. Thank <laughs> you. It. Honored to be here.